We are very hard working at the Drama Society. We're very dedicated and we are working very diligently to get this production to you guys in the near future. What do you feel is more important for a member of the play, whether it be acting or backstage, talent or training? I do believe talent can get someone quite far, however, talent can only get someone so far. A very talented actor may not have the drive. I think talent is more important. Everyone here sucks. Like, everyone is lacking talent. Can you let me finish my point, please? Thank you, Trevor. Yeah, talent. I have one specific person in mind who's really lacking talent. I can't say names, though. Trevor, this isn't about you. This is about me. Talent is important, but dedication, hard work is better. You could be the next Tom Cruise, but if you're not willing to work for it, if you're not willing to work for the show, work for the directors, work for the people who are guiding you, you will never make it big. So I do firmly believe hard work is a lot better than talent. And some people, they might not have either of them. How do you maintain confidentiality about plot twists and other developments in the production before the performance? Do you want to go? Sure. Well, I like to talk to my castmates and crew members about all of the entire play and all my thoughts in it, so I don't really need to tell other people about the play. That's funny because nobody listens to you. What do you mean? All my castmates listen to me. No one in the cast listens to you. Everyone listens to me because I am the stage manager after all. Unlike you though, I don't have a problem with a big mouth, so I am able to keep it to myself and it's not even a problem for me. Well, since you're stage manager, everyone's forced to listen to you. Whereas me, the star of the show, I, I, they, I get to give my opinions and they get right. to give my opinions. They just tolerate you. Okay. okay. Is there anyone in the cast that you do not get along with? Hmm. Well, no, you go. Are you sure? No, oh, you go. Okay, I'll go. Well, you see, all, I think of all the actors as one big family. We all work so hard on this play, so I love them all. It's just that there's uh, some particular crew members out there that don't, I don't really get along with that well. Hmm? Your turn. My turn? I'm gonna say it straight up, it's you. You're the only one I don't get along with. Why? It's you. <laughs> well, I could say the exact same thing about you. You're bossy, manipulative, and you have no talent. What helps you get into character? Every day, for 10 hours, I lay in my bed, doing nothing, acting dead. All right, the form is great. You're going to want to stop reading, though I can hear from here. It's a bit distracting. If possible, your heart shouldn't be beating. But, you know, if you have to have your heart beating, then so be it, whatever. Uh, are you smiling? Yeah. Name one dead person who smiles. Oh, now you're laughing. You know, you know when you're laughing, I can hear you breathing even more, and they can hear you too. That's it. For me, I just... I just do it, you know? It's, it's my first play, and you know, very excited. Um, but you know, just, just go out and shine, you know? And obviously, you need to take in the audience, you know? Appreciate them. So I always keep that in mind. Who do you think the best actor in the company is? The best actor? Oh, well, not to be cocky, but I have to do say myself. While many would say that I do believe my co-star, Robert, might be good at acting. I do think I am the best, by, by a fair margin. I'd say Max, because I think that he's very... Actually... Maybe Sandra. I mean, I'm never going to say it to her face, but I think she actually does have potential. And is very creative with the way she plays her role. I put a lot of work into Florence Collymore and I I feel like the amount of effort and the amount of emotion that she will display in this play will be extraordinary and it's nothing that any other actor can match. I did mention earlier that training is by far the most important aspect of a, an actor, but I don't mean to brag, but four years, I went to Juilliard. Best acting school in the world, baby. That's right. That's me, Chris, the best actor here, the best actor you will ever see. There is no best actor. They all suck. Robert doesn't even know his lines. Sandra, too dramatic and always screaming about something. 
Denise doesn't even know how to say her lines correctly. Who else was there? Some irrelevant guy? Oh, I think his name was Max. Yeah, like no, like he can't even act properly. He can't stay in character, can't do anything. Chris, he's the worst of them all. Stop. He sticks his nose in everyone's business. Shh. He's always like, Trevor, why did you miss this? Trevor, why did you miss that? You don't pay me enough. I get paid $10 an hour. Stop. That is below Just minimum stop. wage. I, I'm being exploited. Who's your least favorite character in Is that even a question? It's a hard one. Probably say Sandra. Oh, <laughs> Sandra. Sandra. Uh, she's bit and got too much energy brings to it and that's usually a good thing but only energy is good to a certain point and then it gets like you don't get any work done she like is not 100% focused on the production she's bringing bathrobe into the production and then like when the time she's on break or whatever she has it and I don't know honestly you know what it's Chris he's like everywhere like all he does is nag like, you get so tired, like, we're all trying our best, like, he's literally breathing down your neck. Like, I, I may not even know when he's behind me right now. It's like, he's terrifying. What? Look at what? Tell me, tell me, look at what? Guys! What? 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 what are you doing? Why are you not rehearsing? I go to the bathroom for one minute and you're just letting me that out here! Rehearse the play! It's in five weeks! I can't, I can't do this! I can't! Well, if you look at them like right away, it's a